guys, so I'm coming to you from old downtown in Daejeon. Last time we got to explore the new downtown, so I thought I'd take you over here. The area is uh, more commonly known as Inhangdong, and I believe that's because Inhang means uh, like ginkgo, like ginkgo trees, and there's um, the area is supposed to have a lot of ginkgo trees, or at least it used to. So, hence the name. So, uh, why don't we take a look around? I actually just walked here from uh, Daejeon Station because I just got back from Seoul and I thought, uh, why not head over to Inhangdong? And it's actually a really close walk. I mean, for the time that you spend walking, um, it's pretty much the same as walking down to the subway and spending, you know, a dollar, a dollar ten to take the subway. So, you know, if the weather's nice, you might as well just walk. It's, pretty, it's just a straight shot pretty much right out of Daejeon Station. And now I'm backtracking a little bit. I, like I said, I came from Daejeon Station, but I mean, the most obvious and best way to come is from the subway. So you get off at uh, Jung Ang No Station, and when you come out, uh, you, you can go out one of the exits right away, but there's also this underground market. And I used to come here all the time. First of all, it's nice, because it's underground. So it's not too hot in the summer, and it's definitely better than walking around outside in the winter. And so you got cell phone shops, got clothing stores, makeup stores, accessories, shoes. This is where you're gonna get all your like your cheap clothes and stuff. So I would suggest here, because it's really easy to shop around and go and like compare prices and things. So you can kill a lot of time down here. And if you walk down one of the other hallways, because it branches off four ways, um, you can get snacks too. And it goes on. So, like I said, you can kill a lot of time down here if you want to shop. And then right here by Halaka Halaka is the subway. Alright, so we're going to pop back up above ground so we can check out some more stuff. So you just pop out one of the exits and we here. This is the sort of main shopping area for the young folk. And you see that big structure? That didn't used to be here. That's only been here for about... Mm, I don't know, a few months. I'd say like three or four months. It's called the uh, Sky Road, Daejeon Sky Road. And I'm, I'm still sort of object to it. I mean, I think it's sort of a waste of money and space or whatever, but it's really cool because up there, that curved uh, uh, roof up there is um, an screen, like LCD screen. So like the videos, one time I walked by and they were showing uh, EXO's um, Grawl, which was sort of cool. You mean like 20 foot high EXO, so I mean, yes. Pretty sweet, huh? So I'm just gonna walk down this way, actually. So right here is uh, Shinara Record, and it's pretty much the only like decent CD store in Daejeon. Um, they do, I mean it's mostly Korean music, but they do have um, American pop and kind of world music. Um, but I actually come here with a purpose today. This is the only store in Daejeon that does official fan signs. So usually what you have to do is you have to buy a copy of the CD at the store and it's either an automatic ticket in, but usually it's a lottery system. So um, I think I'm going to go in and get Got Seven's CD because they're supposed to have a fan sign this week. I think it's a lottery, so I don't know if I'm going to get in, but um, I guess we'll find out. Hooray! I also ended up getting 21 CD because I really liked it, and then they gave me a free poster. Yay! That happens sometimes. It depends. You kind of have to get the CD like really close to when it's released, and then um, depending on the group, they'll um, give you a free poster, which is nice. Uh, I may or may not keep that. I might end up giving that away. So we shall see. So where shall we go first? Well, right over there is back where I was at the exit. So I kind of did a loop around to go to the CD store. You can see Art Box in the back. Yay, Art Box, my favorite. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll walk down this way and kind of make another loop on the other side. Okay, 
Okay, good. I'm going in the right direction. Two places I wanted to show you. One is up there, Hakkoya. Um, they got pretty good um, Japanese style ramen. I mean, not authentic, but I mean, it is pretty good. And then, right there, stay done. Hello Kitty Cafe. Hello, so cute. As you can see inside. Or maybe you can't see inside because of the reflection. Anyway, everything in there is Hello Kitty. So cute. I mean, sign is Hello Kitty. The cat is Hello Kitty. They're closed for some reason. That's odd. Huh. That's weird. They should be open. I wonder if they're taking a break. Anyway, there's the Hello Kitty Cafe in case you want to know how to get to it. This is another good place to know. Very famous in Daejeon, or at least very well, yeah, you know what? It is famous. Uh, this is the Sangshimdang Bakery, and they also have a restaurant. They just opened up a second location, but this is the main location, and it's <laughs> really full. Maybe I can show you. I don't know if I can film inside, probably not. But I can at least, you can see all the people walking around, and it's always like that. So it's um, bread. And they got all different kinds of bread. I mean, unfortunately, it's still not like French and Italian style bread, which I like. But they do have stuff. And right here, this is what everybody lines up for, especially at Dejan Station. The Twigum Soboro. Which is really good. It's um, red bean and fried dough. And normally I'm not into red bean, but it's it's pretty darn good. So I would suggest trying out some shimdang sometime. And then, I'm going to turn up here. So by some shindang, and then you get all of these um, vendors here, street vendors. We'll walk up the road. And up here on the left, with the red sign, Estat. This is a good place to know uh, whether you're a student or a teacher. See, this whole building is Estat. And it's stationary and office supplies and cute things like that. So this is where I come um, to get things for classes like colored paper or markers or stickers or you know whatever it is I need so I definitely would suggest coming here and they also have art supplies um, I got my paint here I got some beads here I got all that kind of stuff um, they don't have as wide a selection as I'd like for art supplies but I mean it is pretty good so and also La Vita um, there is a group in Daejeon that does uh, language exchange and they usually meet here on Sundays it's Sunday right now, now that I think about it. I wonder if they're inside. Um, yes, actually, they are. I feel kind of weird now. You can see inside. Oh, hey, I know that guy. His name is Kevin. Um, they do language exchange every Sunday from 3 to 6. Um, I don't know if they'll do it here forever, but... Um, this is where they have been meeting for a few months. La Vita Cafe. You do have to pay to go to that language exchange, but you get a free drink with it. So, I mean, you're basically just paying for the drink. So, it's not a bad deal. Go and meet some people. There's nice people there. Okay, starting back at Samshinbang. I'm going to walk down this road. So, you'll see a line of street food. Oh, man. I wish I wasn't full. Because I would totally get something, some duck or oh, man, something. Oh well, maybe later. Ooh, lemonade. Ooh, maybe I'll get that. So, I mean, I kind of want to say this place is like Myeongdong. I mean, of course it's not nearly as big or busy, but I mean, it's sort of like a similar set setup, like one main street and all these little side streets. Hello. And it's a pretty popular place to come. Hello. 
Okay. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try and look on the other side of the street. Um, that's where, uh, when people come here at night, that's where they go to hang out. The problem is I never come here to hang out because it's on the other side of town. And I don't like having to take a taxi back late at night. Not that it's super expensive. I mean, back to, from here to New Downtown, it's maybe only Man Wan or maybe 12,000 won. I just remembered one thing I can show you. I do know where it is on this side. Um, there are only a couple taco uh, Mexican restaurants in Daejeon. There is Don Enrique by City Hall. And there's Cantina, which I showed you um, over in the Time World area. And, and there is also um, Takuria. And Takuria is here in, in Hangdong. Uh, the best way. I went kind of a roundabout way to get here, but you can just go out the exit right by the subway, which I believe is number three. So actually, if you were coming from exit three, you'd come down this alleyway, not the one I was just at. And then you'll see right here, there is a Cafe Bene on the corner. And then right here on the left, you can see this little inflatable thing is Takoria. They're probably not open now because they, I think they take a break between lunch and dinner. But no, there's someone in there. Anyway, so Takoria, right here, you can see the phone number if you need to call them. Food is pretty good. So when, I, when I'm on this side of town, I like to go here. Um, now that Don Enrique is open in City Hall, it's much closer to me. So, I prefer to go there, just because I mean I'm saving money by not having, and time, not having to go across town. But I would suggest any of those places, Takuria, Don Enrique, or Cantina. I'm just coming back to the point where um, I turned to go towards Takuria. There's actually a bar right up there um, with the yellow roof called Crying Nut. Uh, that one's alright. Uh, it's a little small but that's a pretty decent bar to go to. I'm sorry that I can't really give you suggestions on this side of the street. Like I said, I don't come over here very often, but um, nowadays, um, there didn't used to be a lot of information about Daejeon when I got here, but now there are people making blogs and there's a place called um, Daejeon Access, which should have some restaurants and drinking establishments and cafes that you can look up. So we're crossing back, and by the way, if you go about, I think it's about a kilometer, a kilometer or two kilometers down this road, is Hanbat Stadium, where the uh, Hanhua Eagles play, our local baseball team, who admittedly are um, not that good, but, you know, bless them, they've got their supporters. So you could walk from here to Hanbat Stadium, but I mean, I mean, a more direct way would be, you know, a taxi or a bus. But I have walked from here. It's not that bad. And this is the new Sangshimdang, which I think is where they moved the restaurant, and it's also where they have their um, cakes. They're really fancy cakes. This place must be really good. I've seen a line for it before. Long bakotsi. I think it's just, just like chicken meat. There is a line out the door for Sangshim Dong now. It just goes to show you. I wonder if they made like fresh Twigim Soboro or something. This also has a really long line. It's just like a tall twisty cone, like soft serve. I mean, I wonder if it's just that people want ice cream or if it's actually like really good. Okay, we're gonna go up here. See, we're at the Sky Tree again. Are we start? Sorry, it's not Sky Tree, Sky Road. And um, we're just gonna walk down here because at the end of the road, there is a good cafe that I want to show you. Okay, so we're at the end of the Sky Road. And this street is kind of known for um, its um, pet shop. It's kind of the pet shop road. But people, I mean, let's be honest, just don't buy from pet shops because they get they get their animals from like puppy mills and stuff. And it's just, you don't want to support that kind of thing. There's lots of animal shelters and, you know, that you can even foster or adopt an animal. So, I mean, please look for those before you go to a pet shop. Wow. I forgot. 
forgot about those. I do not want to go on one of those because it looks like you could get really hurt. But um, yeah, maybe it's fun. I think didn't Crayon Pop do their one of their videos like they redid Ba 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 on there or something? I don't know. It's really busy over here because it's Sunday. Okay, here we are. Right here on the corner is this um, cafe. Kopi Dondosa. And um, it's pretty much, I mean, it's, it's very average looking cafe. I mean, it's not very big. But the guy who owns it actually owns a barista school here in Daejeon. So, I mean, the, he, I mean he really knows his coffee. So they really make um, good coffee here. And you can get beans and stuff. So I would suggest stopping over here. So that's pretty much in Hangdong right here. I mean, of course, I didn't look through everything. I didn't explore every little side street. There's cafes and restaurants and shops and makeup stores and, you know, all that stuff. So I encourage you to come down here yourself and just explore around and see if you can find some little hidden treasures. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.